the video, that's one of the strengths of this tool is that um, it can be done by either. You don't need training to take the video if you're just instructed how to, how to video. Um, it can be done in a clinic or a hospital, as many of the follow-up clinics do. We do it for our babies, but we can also ask families to take that video at home and transfer the video to the clinician to be scored at a later time. You've been looking at the optimality score, the motor optimality score. What was it you were doing? Why was it important? And what exactly were you doing? Okay, so the aim of our study was really to look at um, whether the motor optimality score, which is a detailed way to look at the general movements video assessment, whether this particular score could improve the prediction of infants who are most at risk of neurodevelopmental problems, including cerebral palsy. We know that the earlier that we can predict infants who are at risk of cerebral palsy and other neurodevelopmental problems, the earlier that we can commence early intervention. And there's evidence to show that the earlier we start, the better the outcomes for infants. And what we wanted to do was to see really who is using it, how is it being used in clinical practice, and is it helping us know who, which infants are more at risk and what value it is to clinicians to learn to use this additional tool in addition to their general movements training to help in their clinical practice? What will it tell us about babies and their development? Mm -hmm. Because as we know, the earlier we start, the better the outcomes. So to be able to potentially identify these babies at three months of age and get them started in targeted early intervention is fantastic. For clinicians, what are the practical implications then at this point? So practically, if clinicians are using and trained in the general movements assessment, this is a really great additional tool that can be applied. It's used on the existing general movements video that many clinicians in this space would be using. So you're using this tool with the video you've taken for general movements. It has great potential for um, rural and remote families that perhaps cannot come into a clinic setting because it's a video-based assessment that can be scored externally by a trained therapist. And even in the times at the moment with all the post-pandemic and social isolation, there's a real value in having assessments that can be done virtually without needing a hands-on assessment.